What do you do for music in here? Maybe that'll get people going. This is very Greece, circa 1984, right this here. Very stuffy, stuffy, kind of flick right here, right? <laughs> Picture him running around. You know what I mean? With this fun. fishnet. Uh, what's it called? Guy yeah. <laughs> Speaking for me, I didn't want to be in the restaurant business. Oh, yeah. After working at my dad's restaurant, I wanted nothing to do with the restaurant business. So I got out for a while and did, you know, did other things. But I don't know. Maybe being Greek, it's like you you, you always get sucked back into it somehow. Especially with a concept like this, this is something that we wanted to do. You know, since the mid to late 90s. It was never going to be a just 100% Greek place for us. Right. It was always a neighborhood spot first, built around house music and Greek culture. You know, a spot that you would walk into, uh, let's see, let's say when you're in Athens. Right. You know, you can't run away from the fact that you're Greek. But, you know, we never wanted to be just 100% Greek place with a Greek name that plays Greek music and only Greek food. So it was kind of... You know, there's other inspirations that went behind uh, us opening this spot. Oh, so we'll it's funk, Greek. it's it's hip hop. We'll play Greek. You know, it's just whatever whatever the that time calls for. Right. There's different parts of the day we play different music. Yeah. So after the chipura coming the chiftatella. Yeah. 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 And then dips his napkins that he throws and never never cleans up. <laughs> One hundred fifty thousand napkins. Dimitri, were you always making Greek food like this, or? Was it by going to a Greek restaurant that you started to do like the... No, no. I have what were you uh, making in uh, the palaces you were in? <laughs> <laughs> Mediterranean. I was, okay. I was cooking mostly Medita Mediterranean. But Greek, Greek food, Greek recipes, uh, that's how I grow. That's what they teach me. You went to school in Greece for in, cooking, in, for yes. culinary? I've been in Greece and in Switzerland. Okay. Did you ever feed the kings, like personally? Did you ever put it in their mouth? Like kutalias, like this? No, yeah. you can't. No? You can't. Did you ever have dinner with the king? Yes. Oh, you didn't? Yes. I doubt it. Come on. Oh, yes. I'm telling you. The only king you've ever had dinner with was me. Oh, my God. <laughs> king of what? King of papadias. Yes. <laughs> Come on. King of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what questions the audience has for you guys. <laughs> Is Bono a real DJ? Uh, yes. Wait, define, yes. De yes. define real Absolutely. DJ. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, what kind de of question is that? Define real DJ. He is a real DJ. Thank you, Deb. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do they really love their sister? <laughs> like so, uh, That's cool. Seven and a half. <laughs> Eight on a good day. Nine point five, Desi. It's the second time I've heard that. It's okay. Well, what is what is their favorite dish on the menu and why? Ooh, that's a great question. From excuse me, are you Greek? Should all three of us? Yeah, Dib, you what's your it. what's your favorite dish on the menu? My oh, favorite is our souvlaki. I have to agree with the souvlaki. I'm gonna say the octopus. I don't know if I've had the tapodi. The octopus is pretty the fire. The tapodi is fire. The octopus is fire. And the yartlu. Is fire. Yartlu is good too. Tiropitaka. The brunch, the whole brunch menu is pretty. Oh, Guys, they man. asked for one thing. Oh, sorry. You're all over the board. Competition's good. You know? I love four or five Greek places open up in West Ham. That'd be sick. Yeah. As yeah. long as they don't all sell souvlaki yeah, and exactly. just play house music. <laughs> Let's be honest. No, but it, how cool would it be to be like an old school Greek town? You know, a, a, a butcher, a, a cafe, a, a, you know, different businesses on the block doing what they do. I mean, you know, you could even have multiple restaurants. I mean, it's not going to, you know. That would feel more like a Greek town. King of Papali, yes. <laughs> Come on. King of nuts. <laughs> King of these nuts.